Y chromosome is an XX chromosome minus 2.8% of its own genetic matter. I don't know about the chromosome, but I want to okay, know so, so, if you believe the black woman. A black man is an XY chromosome. A Y chromosome is an XX chromosome minus 2.8% of its own genetic matter. I don't know about the chromosome, but I want to okay, know so, so, if you believe the black woman yeah. is God. So is it true you believe that white people are defective, mutated uh, germs? Okay, uh, I have to correct that. And the reason did I you say that? Did you say that? I, I want to. I want to give my uh, understanding completely. Okay, but first of all, because people say that people say things, a lot of times you haven't said it. Did you say that? I probably have said that. Did well, you? Well, did you well, say it? Most definitely. Let me let me uh, give my understanding. When I first came into, uh, let's say, consciousness, I came in, or not even consciousness, I've been conscious for some years now. When I first came into an organization of consciousness, I came through what you would call the 5% nation. So the 5% nation uses what you call the 120 lessons, which they adopted from the nation of Islam which teaches that the white man is the devil, uh, you know, weak and wicked germ, the story of Yakub and all of that. So due to me doing my own personal research, um, me being a 25-year-old adult now, not an 18, 19-year-old, 19-year 20-year-old, you know, youthful adult, do I believe that Yakub or that story or, you know, white people being uh, created from defective germs of black people and weak and wicked to be true at this current time? No. Do I believe that only black people are true human beings and all non-black people on the planet Earth are Neanderthals? Yes. And so speaking from a scientific point of view and a non-hateful point of view, I believe, I don't even want to say believe, I know according to science that if you are not black, you are not a human being. You are only 93% human being, 7% <laughs> Neanderthal. And so I wanted to correct that because... Uh, the question that you asked me, if I initially just answered it, it sounds hateful. So at one point in my life, I may have been running and gunning in underneath that five percenter mentality. So that rhetoric, yes. So you, you, if I'm hearing you correctly, you think that non-black people are not humans. I don't. Uh, I don't think that. That was published in a 2011 edition of Microbiology and Evolution. It was also confirmed by multiple college professors that if you are not of descent of that mitochondrial Eve gene or you are not a descent of the African female gene pool, you are only... Those streams of the grace of God shall all be death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Okay, a Bye bye. When we speak it in context of... I have to say human beings, even though everybody is not considered a human being, considered it, I mean, considering the science, okay? A Neanderthal... For the come watch, Mr. Force. ...would be a humanoid entity which has branches of its DNA linked to canine and primate genes, a.k.a. dog and monkey genes. So let me give science here. Make, want... make a long story short because this is, we don't have all day. A Neanderthal is a human which has monkey DNA. And um, that's amazing to me. Is it true that you describe God? Oh, let me ask, do you smoke pot? No, I don't. I'm on parole. You're on parole? Yes, sir. What did you do? I was allegedly charged with <laughs> being in criminal possession of a fire. Oh. Uh. And so, but you don't smoke pot. No, I'm on parole. I don't oh, because anything. you're on parole, you cannot smoke right now. Well, I'm on parole. I fly a very straight wing. I had five. I did three and a half years in a prison, five years on post. I've done four years straight, no problems. And so once you're off parole, will you go back to smoking pot? Well, once I'm off parole, what do you mean go back? Who said I was smoking pot? Before? <laughs> and did Who, you smoke? I, did you smoke no, before you I, were? I used to be a heavy drinker. Oh, okay. I was living a street life. So, uh, you, have you described God as still being his lower self? Uh, I, do you describe God as still being as being his lower self? Um, in a religious sense, I do believe that the God um, is in what you would call his lower self due to him, you know, uh, killing you know, a minimum of 2.8 million people on this planet, a maximum of 28 million. Uh, he also stated that he was a jealous guy. Jealousy is a lower thought form and a lower form of emotion. 
Um, he chose to impregnate a 12-year-old because Virgin Mary was 12 years old in order to sacrifice his only begotten son for sin that he created. Meanwhile, never told his son why he was being, for, uh, w excuse me, why he was being sacrificed. This is why Jesus asked, you know, why have you forsaken me? So I believe that, that God is a, a negligent parent if he is real and that he definitely exists in his lower self. So you believe that God is in a fallen state like humans are? Probably worse, but yes. Amazing. Were you raised by your father and mother? No, I was not. Who were you raised by? Family members. Well, where, was your, where were your father and mother? I mean, there's one thing, you know, believing in God, and it's another thing, being an atheist, you know, I can understand both at least, but I can't understand someone believing in God and shit talking. <laughs> well, I was taken from my mother after. That's gonna be the um, max uh, retardo patrolling strat. Was wow. 13, so I was adopted, and then I went from one place to another place to another place to street life, and then, uh, you know, certain events took place. Uh, I went to prison. I got out of prison, continued to evolve myself psychologically. Uh, managed to build a beautiful platform, uh, you know, based upon my mind and my spiritual state, and now I'm here talking to you. And and how did your father find out at 13? That, I mean, when you were 13, how did he discover you? Well, uh, to my knowledge, somebody told him he had a son. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so we went, we went and got that, uh, that DNA test. It was confirmed, and then I met him a couple times, and then that was it. So you're still not close to him? No, my father passed. Oh, you did? Yes, and, sir. And do you love your father? I want to say yes. But the, the real answer is what? The real answer is I don't know because I never got to really bond with him the way you should. So I want to say, I want to say, uh, a part of me felt like I missed out on having parents. Yeah. But then a part of me feels like I understand their plight in a way as well as mine. So there is a pocket of love that I have for both my parents. But do I have a normal love that a person should have for their parents? No, I don't, because I didn't have no parents. Amazing. And so another Amazing. question I have for you. Amazing. I'm so Danny, uh, that Morgan inducted K kind of nine months ago is a uh, Lord Lay and five years on Ben K. Nice. She received with one year. It's force and ape. Join the badges. He believes in Yakub, bro. That's not how you spell it, is it? 